There we go. All right, all right. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, listen. It's an awesome day. And I could not wait to share with y'all the awesome things that I've seen the Lord do, that he's been doing uh, in people's lives around me. And I'm just so grateful to be a part of it. I'm so grateful to be um, to be available and used of God for things like this, that he could be glorified. So I got to tell you this. I, I was actually supposed to do a video uh, last week. I want to I wanna say it was last week, but I didn't. So all of my videos now, I have my YouTube page. I won't be doing too much on Facebook anymore, seeing that I don't reach, I don't reach certain people. And so for me, uh, I have to go, I have to go to, to where I can reach more people, to where I can reach people who truly are concerned and care about the true things of God. So, you know, I'm going to let the other preachers and all of that have the Facebook uh, ministry and do all of that. Uh, but while we do real work for the kingdom, I will be sharing it to YouTube. Okay, I got a YouTube channel. That's where all my, ch my videos and everything will be going. But I want to I wanna share this with y'all. I, I got to share this with y'all. Okay, I met this young lady. And she actually works with me. And, you know, uh, I want to say, man, maybe two, two, three weeks ago, I was sharing with her my testimony in Jesus Christ. From sharing my testimony, my, I, my witness, me being a witness to Jesus Christ, me sharing my life with her. It caused her to tell me about the things that she does, right? And so she starts to open up to me and tell me about her family and how she comes from a generation of witches, okay? People that practice uh, witchcraft and occultic practices. And she, she has a, she has a, comes from a background, a family of this, right? And so she starts to tell me about how she uses tarot cards. Okay. I began to talk to her and share with her the gospel of Jesus Christ and the things that the Lord has allowed me to see uh, spiritually. And from this, she was compelled to to ask me to pray for her. And so I prayed for her. We prayed and it was an awesome moment in the Lord. And I and I want to say a week later, which was last week, she comes to me and she says, she says, I haven't, since me and you prayed and you prayed for me, I have not touched those tarot cards. I have not, I have not touched those tarot cards. I have not used them for anything. And so this is a blessing. This to me was the greatest of news that I could ever receive, right? But it didn't end there. Yesterday, we had another talk and she, well, she came to me and she said, she said, Kenan, I want you to. I want, I need, I, I need advice. And I said, no problem. So she said, I need advice because, you know, since me and you talked, I haven't used those tarot cards. And usually when I wanted an answer or I, I needed something, I would go to my cards and I would see what the cards say. But since you have, when you pray for me, I have not messed with those cards. So I, I, I want to talk to you. I need some answers from Jesus. I need him to answer me. I need, I need some prayer. Okay. Now this is so awesome. This is, this is this is, man, this is awesome, right? And so we pray. And so yesterday, she comes to me, and we're talking. We talked, man, I'm, I want to say for like two hours about the, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I'm sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. I want to share this. When, I've, I've said this before, but I want you to understand that when you, when you, if you can share the testimony of of you more than the testimony of Jesus Christ you're drawing people to you and not him this is why so many pastors are praised and worshiped right because when you can tell me about what God did for you but it it brings people to you see the testimony what Jesus did for what Jesus did so that you can see who he is that's what that's what a testimony is a testimony is telling people what Jesus did for me so people can see wow God did that if if you, if the, if that testimony, your testimony, is just bringing people to you, then then you did that absolutely wrong. Okay, so I'm preaching to her the gospel 
of Jesus Christ. When I tell her the things that the Lord allowed me to experience and see, I'm telling her this so that she can see him. Okay. So I, I've been, I've been, you know, I've been, you know, um, blessed and, you know, fortunate that, that God shows me some of the things that he showed me or he, and, you know, or, or he allowed me to experience some of the things I've experienced because not many people have. So I have many stories. I have many things, many things I can't, I can't share, but in this, um, I'm, I'm sharing with her the gospel of Jesus Christ this entire time. I'm telling her how much Jesus loves her. I'm telling her about the salvation in Jesus Christ and how she don't have to look out to these things that, that, you, that you can go directly to Jesus Christ for this, right? And so for me and her talking, we talked for hours last night. Well, this, well you could say this morning. We was up to like two and I'm me telling her about the gospel. Right. And she says, Keenan, she said, should I burn this stuff up? Can I bring it to you? Can I can I burn it? Can I can I burn it? I said, I said, no, you know what? Bring it to me. She said, OK, I got everything in the box. And if I got to get rid of it, I'll get rid of it. I'll get rid of them. I get rid of these cards. I get rid of these crystals. I said, whatever you have. Bring it to me. And I'll destroy it. I'll put away with it. Glory to God. So today, uh, she she will be bringing me her 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 all all of her the 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 tools and the things that she used for witchcraft. She'll be bringing me her tarot cards, which will be getting burned. She'll be she'll be bringing me crystals. She'll be bringing me all the things that she that she used for 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 means of occult practices. And she renounced it. And so I was able to pray for her. And as I began to pray for her, she started to go through a little deliverance. And she started to feel, she started to feel heaviness. And she started to feel, you know, weak. And so she was, she was feeling the manifestations of the demons leaving. And uh, I told her that we, we, we will have to, we also have to pray again. Uh, but, but the great news and what I want to share with y'all is how she renounced and she's giving up her occult practices for me preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ to her. Not preaching me, not preaching how mighty and strong and uh, great of an apostle and pastor and pro nothing about me. But that I was able to preach to her the gospel of Jesus Christ. She's bringing to me her occult practices so that they can be destroyed and she wants nothing more to do with them. She wants to be, she now, she wants to know more about Jesus Christ. The problem with church today, church, I, I want to just talk to you. Can I talk to you, church, religious folk? People are not doing that, right? We're not seeing that. And the reason why we're not seeing that is because you're not preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. There was a reason that the gospel was to be preached. You got people right now in your in your church that's still dealing with witchcraft and, 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 and thinking occult from from an occult mindset, you know, because it's a very thin line between witchcraft, divination and the things of God. It's a very thin line. So you got some people listen that that's operating in witchcraft right now. Nobody is really coming forward and saying, look, I want to get away with it. But when you preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so I want to share scripture with you. I first want I first want to let you know why why we should why we should have never went out of gospel. Let's look and see what Jesus preached, and wh what Jesus preached, and what what he was sent here to preach and pro proclaim. That's what the message should always be. If it's not that message, then it's not of God. Then somehow we're on the wrong path and we're in the wrong way. So let's look and see what Jesus said. I, you know I like to use scripture. I'm deal, I deal with a lot of people that don't like scripture or, or are offended when I tell them what scripture says. So let's go ahead and let's look at scripture. Let's go to, let's go to the book of Luke. <clears throat> the book of Luke chapter four. And let's look at verse 18. Let's look at scripture. Chapter four. 
And let's look at verse 18. So this is Jesus. This is Jesus being rejected at Nazareth, a place where he was brought up, a place where he was born, where he where he where he was brought up and lived, right? Nazareth, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, right? And so he's rejected among his own people. And, this, and this, so he walks into the synagogue, and, and everybody, you know, everybody was there to, to hear what he said. So he opened up a book. It says he opened up a book to where uh, Isaiah wrote this, and he started to say it. This is verse 18. It says, "The Spirit of the Lord is upon me." Because he have anointed me, here it is, to preach the gospel to the poor. The spirit of the Lord is on me. If you got to take notes on this, take notes. Because a lot of y'all are receiving messages. You go into church and you're hearing this mess and it's not the gospel. So let's look, let's look at what, he, what Jesus came to do. It says that the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he have anointed me to preach the gospel to to the to the poor watch this he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted this is what jesus is saying to preach deliverance to the captives in the recovering sight to the blind to set at liberty those that are bruised to preach the acceptable year of the lord nowhere in there do you see jesus saying i have been he have anointed me to preach the gospel of business to preach the, the gospel of finances, to preach the gospel of increase, to preach the God, because there is no other gospel. So, 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 so what did Jesus come to do? If you're outside of this or you're hearing and receiving anything on the outside of this, this word, that's why it says in Galatians that, that if, 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 if we or an angel were to preach to you some of the gospel, then let them be a curse that there is no other gospel. If, if an angel or even we were to preach something to you contrary to this word, to this, to wholesome, to, to this, then let that man be a curse. I'm not here cursing anybody. I'm not here. I'm not here condemning anybody. You stand condemned yourself, church. Because we have to go back and we have to see what Jesus preached. Right now, I'm telling you something that's taking place that God has done and he's doing. And so by me preaching the gospel to someone last night, well, this morning, one o'clock, two o'clock this morning to someone that I'm standing here talking to her, proclaiming the gospel, telling her how much Jesus loves her, telling her how much that I'm preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. She's she's bringing me her her tarot cards. This is something that she put faith in. Son, son, you got to turn that down. She's bringing me something that she put her faith in. A witchcraft. She's bringing me her witchcraft so I can destroy it. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is powerful. She said, Keenan, I, I I'm going to put it all in a box and I'm, I'm just going to bring it to you. I said, bring it to me. I said, just get, just do away with it. We got we got to destroy it. Don't have it. it we... we you, and, 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 and I want y'all to understand this. This is a, this is a young lady who, who, who has not heard the gospel in this way, shape, or form. She's not heard about the love of Jesus Christ. And so she's hearing it. She's hearing it for the very first time. Like this. From boldness. I'm preaching this to her. Right? And she's asking questions as I'm preaching. She said, well, why me? Why does he love me like this? And as the, if the, as the Lord has given me words to say, I'm, I'm preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. She says, I say, I'm very proud of you. I'm so proud of you that since me and you prayed, you have not dealt with those tarot cards. That's what you told me. She said, Kenan, I haven't. Since me and you have talked, and she said, which is weird, I have not dealt with those tarot cards, and I have not even had an urge to deal with them. She said, so you think I should burn them? I said, bring them to me. Bring them to me. And I'll destroy them. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is powerful. I'm so thankful and grateful for what God is doing. Amen. So let's look. Let's look and see what Jesus preached. Because anytime there, there's power in the gospel, there's a reason the gospel of Jesus Christ is to be preached. 
in the reason we see the mess we see. The reason all of this mess is because the gospel is not being preached by these people who you call apostles, people you call prophets and first lady and, and my spiritual daddy, father, papa, the church. You're not seeing true, you're not seeing deliverance. You're not seeing healing. You're not seeing the fruits of the spirit of the Lord. And there's a reason why. So if we can see what Jesus preached and, 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 and the, we can see what we are to always preach. So, so let's look at it right here in, in, in Luke 4, 18 says, Jesus says, he says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. To preach deliverance to the prisoners, to the captives. And recovering of sight to the blind. To set at liberty them that are bruised. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Nowhere in there do we see Jesus saying the Lord has anointed me and the spirit of the Lord is on me to preach finances. Nowhere in there do we say the spirit of the Lord is on me uh, to preach the gospel of being abundant and rich. Nowhere in here do we see Jesus. We, we, that, that ain't, if Jesus didn't wasn't sent to preach that, how, how are you sent to preach something opposite of what Jesus preached? Right here we see what Jesus preached. We said, we, he, said, he said it. He says, he says, the spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me, given me a charge, anointed me, given me as a spirit, as anointed. He says to preach the gospel. So it's power in the gospel. I just wanted you to say that. That's that's what we're urged to do. We're urged to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Preach the gospel. We're supposed to preach the gospel. There is nothing else, the God, but but the gospel that Jesus preached. Right here, we don't see Jesus talking about anything about that had nothing to do with finances, money, being rich, being abundant, being none of that. So why did where do y'all get that preaching from? I want you to know you're lying on God's name, and you're gonna be held accountable for that because that's not Him. Right. So let's go to Mark. Let's go to Mark 16. Go to the book of Mark. Right. Go to the book of Mark. Book of Mark, chapter 16. Let's see what Jesus tell his disciples. I'm going to tell you this before we get here. His disciples, people that's truly sent from God, truly that's people that's truly under the fold of in the fold of Jesus Christ. Sent of Jesus Christ, right? You going to know the you going to know the authenticity because the people that's sent from Jesus Christ preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. You don't preach nothing else. You're not telling you nothing about finances, your money. You're about to be rich. You're about to get a new business. You're about to get, buy a new, get a new house. You about that's fortune telling. That's what psych, psychics do. That. That ain't. That's that's that. That has nothing to do with the kingdom of God. So 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 we, I'm letting you know before we read this because I'll say this and you'll get offended. I want you to know it's scripture. If 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 you're truly sent from God, you want to know if your pastor is truly sent from God. You want to know if your church, your apostle, the person you call prophet, you want to know if they truly sent from God? Watch this, because it, it's rare. You, you, they probably, listen, they're going to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. They're not going to preach about finances and money and new this and abundance. That, ain't, that has nothing to do with the kingdom. That has everything to do with the world. Do you remember when it when Jesus said for, for, when, the, when the word of the Lord says for he who loves the world if, if if any man loves the world the love of the Father is not in him so so watch this why would he preach the world to you <laughs> why would Jesus preach the world to you if it's written that who whoever loves the world the love of the Father is not in him whoever wants to be friends with the world has made itself an enemy with God the Word of God says this so why would he preach anybody sent from God why would they preach the, the world to you so let's go right here Mark 16 15 get there I want you to see what the Bible says I don't want you to listen to no lying pastors you got to stop doing that because they're, they're, they're giving you a false God and because the because Jesus Christ really wants you to know who he is that he was really thinking like 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 when you think like man God want my money Jesus is appalled by that. 
right? So let's go to let's go to Mark. Let's go to Mark 16, 15, and I'm gonna read to you what it says. Mark 15, 16, 15. Here it is. It says, and he said unto them, this is Jesus. It says, and he said unto them, his disciples, he says, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He didn't, he didn't say preach finances to every creature. He didn't say preach abundance to every creature. He didn't say preach increase. Preach about a house, preach about, he said, preach the gospel. So, so I want you to know, those who are truly sent from God, you'll know because they're, they'll preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's it. So there's power in the gospel. I want you to know for me preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, not, not of me, because there is no gospel of me. There is no gospel of anything. Else. There is there is one gospel, and that is the gospel of Jesus Christ, which sets the captives free, which brings to deliverance to those who are who are who are prisoners and held captive. There's one gospel that mends the brokenhearted. There's one gospel that brings liberty to those that are bruised. And that is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Amen. So if you got anything else, then that's, that's an accursed false word. Lance, what's up, bro? Love you, man. If, you, if you're receiving anything else or you're hearing anything else, it's a false word. Listen, watch this. I want y'all to pay attention to it because I don't need nobody. I don't need nobody to be here to hear because it ain't about me, right? So I'm not looking for viewers, but watch this. I'm telling y'all about something that awesome that happened yesterday, how this girl who's dealing with was dealing with witchcraft. Listen to me. Has 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 given up witchcraft for Jesus Christ. And she's going to bring me everything that she was dealing with, which brought forth and was an operation of demons was in was was with the kingdom of darkness. Right. She's bringing it to me to be burned. And there's no Christian in here. To say amen to that. I want y'all to pay attention to that. Do you know how many videos a person to get? How many views a person to get if they was talking about money? God is finna bless you with abundance of money. God is finna do this and open up. I don't have not one pastor. And I, I have a lot of pastors connected to a lot of pastors, apostles, church folk. And none of them are in here to be joyful about this one sinner that's that that's that's repented don't you know the scripture says matter of fact i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you what the scripture says i'm gonna show you in the bible what the scripture says because we're dealing with people that don't live by this word but this word of god says that even the angels in heaven are rejoicing from the one person that that repented from their sin that all of the angels of heaven for that one person that said i don't want to do this no more that angels are applauding and singing for this one person but not one person is in here. That's that's I got my brothers in here with me. People, people that that I that I was that I that I lived life with, right? But the people that's supposed to be more holy than us ain't in here. That's a sad thing. That's a sad thing. But let's get to Bible though, because we know this. We we know the truth already. We know what's going on already. No, people that people that that run from the truth, you won't find them where the truth is at. So let's look, let's let's go to let's go to Luke 15, right? Let's go to Luke 15. Luke the 15th chapter. We're going to read it. We're going to read it. If if angels are happy and rejoicing about what she did, why why wouldn't we be? This is a big thing, bro. Let's go to let's go to Luke 15 and let's look at 4. I'm going to read 4 through 10. I'm going to read 4 through 10. It says, Jesus says, he says, what man of you having a hundred sheep, if you lose one of them, if you lose one of them, doesn't he leave the 99 in the wilderness and go after the one which is lost until he find it? Right. So Jesus is saying, the one, if, 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 if a person had 99 sheep, he's telling you about his love. 
This is his love for, for us, for people, right? He says, if a person has 99 sheep, wouldn't he leave the 99 and go after that one until he found it? Watch this. I'm going to keep reading. This is five. It says, and when he had found it, he left upon his shoulders and rejoiced. And when he come home, he called up together his friends and his neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. This is Jesus re rejoicing over his lost children, his lost sheep. Watch this. It says, I say unto you, the likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth more than over the ninety-nine just righteous people which need no repentance. Eight says, either what woman hath ten pieces of silver? If she loses one piece, do she not light a candle and sweep the house and seek diligently till she find it? Nine says, and when she found it, she called up her friends and her neighbors together saying, rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I have lost. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repents from his evil. Hey, Lance, thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. So right here, the Bible says that it's angels in heaven. For when a person says, you know you're doing wrong, right? And, and I could tell you the test. I could tell you, but like this happened to me. I'm doing, I was doing wrong, right? So I said, I said, Lord, I said, I don't want to do this no more. I never forget. I never forget I was doing dishes in my kitchen and I'm looking at my kids. I got two kids on the floor they playing they don't know nothing about nothing they ain't worried about nothing because they don't post the worry right so they worries ain't my worries but i'm sitting here and i'm washing dishes i'll never forget this day i'm washing dishes and i look at them and i start to cry right i start to cry because i'm like i got seven dollars in my bank account but i gotta feed these two girls and i got at the time, she wasn't my wife. She was my girlfriend. So I And I got bills, and I got $7 in my bank account. But I was living bogus, though. And it was that day where I said, Lord, I said, I surrender. I give up, man. I, I, I try, I'm trying to do this my way, and it ain't working. If you, could, if you could get me out of this, if you could help me, if you could, you know, and he answered that prayer, bro. I go to work. And, and it wasn't no mysterious money. You know, but they, these pastors be trying to make it seem like God just going to make money float out the, the air. And that's what makes it witchcraft. Like you just going to find a check. It don't work like that. I'm going to tell you what happened to me. I go to work. And I was working at this job for 12 years. And, and they was, I was, uh, they was giving me like the, the, the short end of the stick the whole time. I'm making like like nine like nine dollars and fifteen cent, right? And I'm like a floor tech too. I'm a floor tech too, which means like I'm like the highest level of a floor, a skillful like where I'm teaching and training other people to do it. But I'm living bogus. Like I'm doing stuff. I'm not gonna mention what I'm doing right now. I don't have to. But I was doing some bogus stuff back then, right? So in my life, so. People coming in, I'm training them, and they making more money than me, right? So it wasn't until after that happened, that experience, where I surrendered to God, right? I, I went through 12 years of this until I surrendered to God, right? So I'm surrendered to God. I go to work, and the, the, my boss comes to me, and he says, man, uh, he, 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 he was mad to tell me this. He said, HR, want to talk to me. So I, I'm really thinking I'm in trouble. I'm like, for what? He was like, I don't know. It's something about your money, something about your what they pay. Your pay. So you just got to call them. So I called him. I called HR. The lady get on the phone. She said, this is Mr. Barber? I said, yes, ma'am. I said, my, my, my supervisor, my boss told me to call you. She said, yeah, sir. She said, you know what, Mr. Barber? I want to I want to first apologize to you because we've been given, you've, you've been, we've not been giving you what you deserve as far as your pay. I don't know how this happened, where this mistake happened at, but we have to give you back pay. Here it is, it's 2015. She says, we owe you back pay since 2008. And so we have to give you all of that. Man, I get, I, I get, I, man, I, I, I get, I would be ready to cry even telling you the story of how this happened to me, right? 
I because I just prayed to God, right? She said, we owed you money since 2000. It's 2015, and we owed you money. We owed you this money since 2008. So, sir, we're just going to have to just give you a lump size check. Is that okay? She said, also, we see that you're making 910. You should, you're a floor tech, too, and you should be making more than that. So we have to raise your pay to 11. This is when, like, 11, like, this was good money. She's like, we're going to have to raise your, your pay to 1150. And after that, I get a call from another job. So here it is. I want y'all to know that God answered my prayer. And that was that was like a wake. That was like an attention thing for me. Like, okay, Lord, you heard me. Okay, so now I need to live up to my end and to trying to do right now. And so what I'm what I'm trying to say is that reading this scripture and me seeing that there's angels that are rejoicing over one sinner man don't y'all know that it's god waiting on some of y'all bro to just be like i'm done i'm done and if you if you this god that love me so much and you got a plan for me i want to know what your plan is for me and, and i want y'all to know that god's plan for you will take you a lot further than what you thought your plan was your, your plan is minimal. It's small to the plan that God got for you. And all you got to do is surrender. All you got to do is, 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 is surrender your heart and your ways, repent from your, your evil ways, the things that you're doing that are not of him, right? That's not pleasing to him because he's merciful and he came for you. He came for you and me and you. He ain't in the church. He's not in there with, with no, with the people that, think they righteous he's not just in there watching them dance and shout no he's with the drug addict trying to get them to stop shooting the needle he's with the person that got the gun in their hand and feel like he got a rob he's with that person to try to get that person to turn around from the life they live in but it just takes a surrender it takes a surrender man so i just wanted to share this with y'all and I want to go to the book of Acts. I want to show you what this young lady is doing, how it's biblical. I want to show you her bringing her, her bringing her witch, her witchcraft, her occultic things, how she's bringing this to me so I can destroy it. I want to show it to you in scripture. This is this is true. This is true apostleship. This is true. This is what the children of God really do. Right. So watch this. Let's go to the book of Acts. You go to the book of Acts. Hey, Lance, I love you, bro. I love you, man. I thank you for stopping in, bro. I thank you for stopping in, bro. I love you, man. Let's go to the book of Acts chapter 19. I want to I want to show you this. I want to show y'all this. Look at this. That I, I it's amazing that I'm actually I'm actually able to live out this Bible, bro. I'm actually able to like see what they did. I'm actually able to see it, which is also a testimony of a living God to me. So right here, look what it say. This is Acts. This is Acts nineteen, and I'm gonna start at verse. I'm gonna start at verse thirteen. It says, "Then certain of the vagabond Jews, they were exorcists. These are people that cast out demons, right? It says they took upon them to call over them, which had evil spirits, the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We adjure you by the name of Jesus, who Paul preaches.'" So they was right there. They were showing that they didn't even have a relationship with Jesus. They were saying, we cast you out in the name of Jesus that Paul preached. So watch what the demon say. It says, and the seven sons of one Sceva, a Jew, and the chief of the priests, which did so, says, and the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know. Paul I know. But who are you? That's what the demon said. That's what he's saying to a lot of you church religious folk who think you know God. He says, he says Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are you? Who are you, right? It says, and the man who, whom the evil spirits, it says, it leaped on him and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. Now watch this. This is what, this is what 17 said. This is what 17 said. It says, and this was known to all the Jews and the Greeks also dwelling at Ephesus and fear fell upon all of them. And the name of the Lord Jesus Christ was magnified. 
It says, and many that believed came and confessed and showed their deeds. Many of them also, which used curious arts, brought forth their books together of like magic. It says, and they burned them before all men, and they counted the price of them uh, uh, and found 50,000 pieces of silver. It says, so mighty grew the word of God and prevailed. So right here, they bought they bought together. When they seen this happen, they seen the power in the name of Jesus Christ. They seen the power of God. They, they turned away from their wicked ways by burning the stuff they had. So I'm telling you right now, I pray for this lady, for this young, for this young lady. I, I preach to her the gospel of Jesus Christ. Nothing else. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Right? I, I told her what Jesus did for me. Right? She says, a week past, she said, Kena, since me and you talk, I have not touched those tarot cards. I have not been around them. I have not touched them. So I, I said, but you, you know, that you, you sure, you sure you won't go back to them. She says, well, I can, I, I, maybe I can, can I burn them? And I said, no, bring them to me and I'll burn them. I want you to know that her heart saying that she don't want to do that no more. She came to me last week and she, she told me that last night, but she came to me last week and she said, she says, Keenan, I, I need some advice. Because usually I would go to my tarot cards and I would see what they say and, you know, that's how, that's how I live my life. I would go off what they say. But when since you prayed for me and me and you talk, been talking, I, I, I need Jesus. I need you to, I need to pray. I need to hear from him. So I need some, I need some help. And she was help. I, I, you know, the Lord spoke that day and she was just so relieved. She got her answers that day. And she seen she didn't need the cards. She didn't need them. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all. You know, I, I could have kept that to myself, but there's some people out there that that's going to bless and it, that it has blessed. And so uh, it's a blessing to me. I'm still ecstatic about it. And uh, she's supposed to be bringing me all of me this stuff today. And we're going to destroy it. I'm actually going to record me destroying it. Amen. Glory to God. I'm going to make a, I'm going to, 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 I'm going to destroy it. And I'm going to, I'm going to live, I'm going to live stream it. Getting rid of it. Getting it out of her life. And she turned her life around. And she's giving it, she's, she's, she's opening her heart to trust in God. To trust in Jesus Christ. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. Listen, man, thank y'all for stopping by my brother Lance, man. God bless you. Love you, man. Everybody who came in and stopped by, I hope you received something from this. I hope you was, you know, you was able to, to re you know, hear the word of the Lord in this uh, because he does love us. Uh, let me say this. Preach the gospel. Preach the gospel. You want to know if it's truly from God, it's going to be gospel based. It's going to be in the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's going to lead you to him. Nothing else. It's not going to have you out here looking for, you know, how much more to invest in your business. It's going to lead you to Jesus Christ. There's a reason that the gospel was given. I also want you to know that God does not owe you anything else. I'm going to say that one more time. God does not owe you. He's not obligated to do anything else for you other than what he did already by giving us his son, Jesus Christ. You got it. You got salvation. What, what more do you want outside of Jesus Christ? What more are you looking for? So Jesus Christ is not enough that you, you need a new car. If you don't got a new car, if you don't got a new house, then God ain't blessing you and the enemy is after you. Absolutely not. It has nothing to do with anything. That's, that's, all of that is because of false gospel that you receive, the false word that you receive to think that's what that's who God is. So, yeah. <sighs> Y'all have a blessed Friday, man. Have a safe, blessed weekend. To my true brothers and sisters in Christ, God speed till we see each other again. God bless.